Time for your morning bath, my lord. At this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. <coughs> 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 Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Up. All right, mate. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's what you are. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine.
Give yourself up, monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender! Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Galahad. Come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Igraine and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Galad out. Morning.
I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Negative. So he is. He's probably off somewhere gallivanting. Being, well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. The knight cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites, running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was? You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Grain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love? Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble? The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Let's get to work. Let's reload. We're clear. Move up. Find some weapons. You two, get your asses over here. I need help. Come on. Go. Let's go, you bloody bastards! Hey, a rifle would be more appropriate. Shh. 
shit. More SKPs coming from the alley. Some are heading for the atrium. Escape me down! Oh, damn! Enemy down! Bloody hell! It's on the stairs! JP neutralized. I need to reload. Target down. Motion inside. <laughs> Hurry, more bedlamites inside. <laughs> Stun, take the shot. <laughs> Are you all right? Damn it! Oh, God. They're slaughtering them. Ready? Let's get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Target! There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. Got it! We should clear the second floor.
Everything to your liking, thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Shoot a few of them rich folk. Huh? Say no more. Neutralize. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? Well, is your problem now? Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Agrain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir.
Air command to all knights in the vicinity of Mayfair. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. Galahad, are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Women, was it? But I have not met any resistance yet. Most of them, the last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your up gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood.
Everyone all right? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Whitechapel. Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue. The plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together, lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers?
Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. You heard the Lord Chancellor. The Council will not stand for it. Our brother Knight has made a habit of contravening his orders lately. Yes, Lord Chancellor. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your fa brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur. About the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Galahad. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man.
What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Hmm. All gibberish to me. Nicola. Let's engage the unit. Start with the 18 and first place. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot! Uh, Sir Galahad! Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. <laughs> Recoil is sharp. But manageable.
Nicely balanced. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell white chapel before you see it. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. The ashes are still warm. Like a stuck pig, that one. Doesn't look good. Yeah, get it up. Strange place.
And where there is no law, the people must rise up. Rise up and fight! Yeah. And reclaim their rights! They tell you things have never been better. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in the Black Haller coal mines, while the captains of industry feast from silver bowls. Is this the England we want? What must we do? I killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Stop. Don't worry. You're safe now. We should head through this door. No weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the coat closet. Give it here. And a fun, governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. Join me upstairs, love. Another time. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt. Marky, this is no time for sport. Well, um, I, well, I... We have to find a way out of here quickly. Uh, yes, ma'am. That's quite all right. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. This way, love. Get in here. Oi! Here! What are you up to? You're in the wrong room. Where's the little frog go? He's in there. With his friend. Oi! Get out of there! Oh! 
Hello? Toutes mes excuses, madame. We have intruders. Get your weapon. Let's go. Lafayette. Shh. Whistle! Get inside! Looks like we've stirred the nest. Keep a lookout, Marquis. We need to find a way through here. Two shorts for bobbies, one long for knights. Damn knights. You sure it's not the other way around? You know. Two shorts for knights and... Kill Rebel down, master. Clear. Perhaps the rooftops are not our best path, monsieur. You may be right. We need to find another way to the hospital. I found a way out. Facile, hein? I sense that we are not welcome. Keep your eyes open. We don't want to create any further commotion. Look, monsieur. God did not save this queen. Lafayette, keep your head.
Rebel neutralized! Let's head up! Over. In the tunnel! Hold them up! Throwing <laughs> smoke grenades! Incoming! Enemy down! Fall back! Yes, sir! I'm reloading! We have to keep moving. I'm at Understood, Marquis. Shit. 
Enemy down! We need to keep moving and get off the streets. I feel my teeth. A little help with the wagon, monsieur? Percival. Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. The curse of progress. Hand me your monocular. I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. Do you see our comrades? Not yet. There. It must be them. Shall we join the soiree? Let's invite a few friends, shall we? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Air Command, this is Galahad. Thank you, monsieur. You copy. We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court martial. We'll worry about that later. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please state directives. Sentinel-5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledged, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue-red at a one-second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change. Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We have visual confirmation of your position. Heading change to 224 degrees. Assuming holding pattern above Whitechapel in eight minutes. Acknowledge Sentinel-5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. <sighs> ah, the smell of pestilence. The Parisian slums are more fragrant, I suppose. Merde smells like merde, monsieur. Anywhere in the world. After you. Lafayette! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> not to worry, monsieur. 
I'm all right. Not our time be better spent hunting half-breeds. Patience, Marquis. Oh, this world again. Patience. Always patience. Leave that, Jimmy. Get going! Come on, I'll cover our bases. Yes, sir! Up for a pint, did you? We encountered some resistance. The rebels are better armed than we expected. There's markings. Look familiar. It's one of us. Where'd you find this? Follow me. There's enough firepower here for a small army. Some of this ordnance was manufactured for the order. Igrain even found an art gun in here. I was unaware that we had lost some of our infantry. We haven't. Here, give me a hand with this one. <clears throat> See what's in there. What did you find? Essex M86. Thermite rifle. They saw their first field action a few weeks ago. This one hasn't been assigned yet. How did the rebels get their hands on these? I'm making it my business to find out. Uh, uh, begging your pardon, sir. You need it upstairs. That's our cue. Mademoiselle requires our attention. Egrain, we're in position! About time! Move out! Mm -hmm. What took you all so long? I'm reloading. Knights, engage as well! Understood. We'll cover you. Yeah. On the roof! I 
see them. We need backup. The bloody rest of that number. Inspector, stay up. Take his arms. <coughs> Gently, monsieur. I have him. <coughs> Ready. <coughs> Let's move him. <coughs> We're sitting ducks out here. Here comes another. <coughs> monsieur, only a few more feet to go. We're clear. Move in. Okay, go. Galahad, find us a way out of here. Working on it. How bad is it? A punctured lung, I think. Another bullet think through I the stomach. No way out. Just rest easy, sir. You're gonna be all right. Everyone stand back. Igniting! Save your prayers, Lafayette. There is no God to help him. Come on. Let's go. There, the hospital. We're only a few hundred yards away. And these rebel gobshites will be waiting for us. Mon de Dieu! Who built this fucking town? Dead ends everywhere! Quite the shortcut. Brilliant. What now? Lafayette! Monocular! They're hiding behind those columns! We need to press forward now. 
There's a weak spot in the tracks. If I can get up there, I should be able to bring the structure down. Igraine, Lafayette, I'll need you to provide cover. Percival, with me. Give me a hammer with this. Ready. <laughs> Galahad, use the thermite to bring the bridge down. Thermite is in place. Watch yourselves below. 